Remember the ballot initiative in Ohio that voters overwhelmingly approved last week? It enshrines a woman's right to make decisions about her own body in the state's constitution? Well, now, four Republican state lawmakers are trying to overturn the will of the people by stripping judges of the power to enforce this new amendment to the Ohio Constitution. Republican State Representative Beth Lear is one of those four lawmakers. And in supporting this move, she said, quote, no amendment can overturn the God-given rights with which we were born. Y'all, this is, this, is this is not what democracy looks like, okay? Now, there are also other Republicans, like former Senator Rick Santorum, as well as Florida governor and presidential candidate Ron DeSantis, who not only agree with lawmakers like Lear, but they continue to push back against ballot initiatives. And it's all because Republicans are losing these votes, literally every time. Take a listen to the outlandish comments that they made this week. You got to do a better job on these referenda. I think of all the stuff that's happened to the pro-life cause, uh, they have been caught flat-footed on these referenda, and they have been losing the referenda. You put very sexy things like abortion and marijuana on the ballot, and a lot of young people come out and vote. It, 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 was, a, it was a secret sauce for disaster in Ohio. I don't know what they were thinking, yeah. but um, that's why I'm, I, I thank goodness that most of the states in this country don't allow you to put everything on the ballot because right. pure democracies <laughs> are not the way to run a country. So, talk about, I mean, talk about saying the quiet part out loud. A former senator is saying that putting issues on a ballot and allowing voters, especially young people, to decide is not how a country should be run? Seems to me that they are very frustrated that democracy is working. A majority of Ohio voters voted to protect a woman's right to make decisions about our own bodies, as well as to protect miscarriage care and make sure folks have access to birth control. And they put that in the state constitution. Now, the legislatures that Ohio voters elected to serve them are now working to undermine their will. Time and time again, it feels like there are Republican elected officials out there, like Ron DeSantis or Rick Santorum, that continuously are underscoring that they believe that your voice shouldn't matter, that they don't actually want a democracy. You cannot say, let the voters decide, and then when voters disagree with you, you sabotage or undermine their votes. That is actually the definition of anti-democratic, and frankly, I think it's un-American.